sorry, sorry, sorry about that. Charlie, Charlie was just a little rough last night. I'm just, that was a lot. I'm gonna need a hemorrhoid pillow or something. That was ridiculous. Hey, what up everyone? Michael B. Petty here. It's been a while. It's been a week since we've done a video. It's been a week since Amberlynn's posted a video. Um, I figured I'd come on here and do a react, but before we get to it, I'm gonna go ahead and shout out some channels because I know that that bothers some people. Um, if you don't know already, Irate Alex um, did a video about Chantel and yours truly appears in it along with Biggest Mikey. So if you haven't, go ahead and watch that video. I'm gonna put a card or whatever it is up in the right hand corner. So if you haven't seen that video already, go ahead and get the, give it a check out. It's about our very own Flobby Bobby and I'm sure you'll find it hilarious. It was hilarious. I love his humor. It's, it's a good video. He does a really good job. So go ahead and check that out. Um, what do we have here? We have a what I ate today video with four explanation points um, in case three wasn't enough we've got four how many of these videos has she made really like I I feel like there's like seven or eight of these fucking view of these videos at this point but you know whatever helps pay the bills right so um, let's go ahead and get into this sorry about I have a I have a zit right here so please try not to look at it too much all right but I already have the video queued up past the horrible intro, so you're welcome. Don't say I've never not done anything for you. And without further ado, let's get into the react. Hey guys, so welcome to a new video. Um, I probably look worse than I ever have. She looks the same. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know how do you get worse. Like I, because I feel worse than I ever have. Um. I know a lot of people hate when I say, oh, I'm going through something, but I don't want to talk about it. I just want you guys oh to know that's God. why I haven't been uploading. How many fucking times are we going to have to hear the same fucking sobs? How does someone who never leaves the house have so many struggles? Like, I honest to God, am like so confused. I think I've watched... People who vlog their their journeys through brain cancer have more enjoyable days than not. Like she, I don't understand how someone who has such a limited, um, a limited exposure to anything in this world could possibly have so many bad days. I feel like every single video is her coming on here and complaining about how hard she's struggling, how hard of a time she's having. We it never ends. We got bad news. Um, it's not really something that we want to talk about. Then why are we talking about it? Why are we even bringing it up? I mean, oh, uh, that's right. We got to get that pity, that pity IV in. Oh, we got to get it back. Like, it's crazy. If ever. Um, and it's like two really bad things happened. Two bad things. She, <laughs> she talks about things like stuff. a toddler. Um, like we've got a new, their numerical the order. I can say it has nothing to do with Becky's family. Cause I feel like that's the first thing since that's something that's been really if you don't want people to speculate as to what's wrong with you then don't bring it up no one would know if anything was wrong with you if you weren't constantly talking about bad things happening to you going on lately nothing to do with becky's family but yesterday i filmed like a little video showing what i ate in a day and yesterday i actually didn't really eat that much Is she at like all. So I'm actually gonna show you guys that clip after this. She, I just... She's acting as if like she's pained by having to like show us what she ate or whatever. But it's like, are you really gonna come on here and talk about how much you're struggling and then be like, but I filmed a mukbang yesterday and you're gonna splice it in. Like I've gotten a lot of messages of people saying, I miss you, I miss you, come back to YouTube. And I feel obligated to continue Posting? <laughs> you feel obligated to continue posting because this is your lifeblood, dog. This is it. If it, if you aren't posting videos of you slowly committing suicide on camera, then you don't eat, and neither does Becky, and neither does Becky's family, apparently. Obviously not daily, but I just want you guys to know that there are going to be days where I don't post because I do need that mental break. I am emotionally and just like get a therapist. Exhausted. I am so emotionally exhausted that it's like physically. I'm feeling it physically. Girl, like you're physically fit. Like you're not physically tired all the time because you weigh 600 pounds. You're gonna really blame it on your mental, your mental health, your mental hygiene. I, you're, you cannot blame. I can't, dude. She's just gonna, she's gonna wallow in her pity and get on here and get some fucking clicks, some views on YouTube and get a couple pity DMs, I guess, and feel all the. It's, 
this is a coping mechanism for her. Real talk, this is just a coping mechanism for her. I honestly, I, I could not fathom having hard days and being like, well, I better get on YouTube and talk about it because otherwise I don't know if it really happened or not. Or I don't know if I'll be able to get through it. This is sick. This is fucking sick to come on here and constantly use your YouTube audience as like this emotional punching bag and have them constantly come on here feel sorry for you. It's, fuck it's fucked up. It really is, dude. And when you're not taking the initiative to like fix your life yourself, it's like, why should your audience have to sit here and like have to hear? <laughs> I can't, dude. It's crazy. It's crazy. If that makes sense. So... Anyways, here is what I filmed. And here's my mukbang. So I have <laughs> like, some. It's, is that, does not anyone see how fucking crazy, like the optics of that alone. Like coming in and being like, we're having a really bad time. While we've been, you've been on here talking about someone having cancer. And then you're like, well, it's not that, but I'm not going to allude to what it's about. But here's my mukbang. Like, it's weird. These are supposed to be fried dumplings, but to me, they never really seem fried. Which They're I pan fried. Mind. And then we have some like sauce. I, I hate how dumb she is. is. But I think there's some. Can you fucking swallow your spit? My God. She's like salivating. She's like. And these. Like, it's crazy, dude. Like, are you hearing that? Am I. Let's hear it one more time. Do you they hear it? really seem fried, which I don't mind. And then we have some like sauce. I don't really know. It's like a dog. It's like when you're about to get food ready for a dog and they're like slobbering everywhere. <laughs> That's what it's like, dude. It's crazy. What it is. But I think there's some green onion in there. Scallions. This looks honestly so good. So yes, I'm eating in my room. The two industrial and, sized um, fans. I could, could you imagine walking by that and seeing just two giant fans pointed at a 600 pound person on a bed and think like, yep. Totally normal. This is normal. This is totally normal. <laughs> like, I can't. And then you look in the room and you're like, are you 12? Is that a 12? Is like, do I need to call CPS or something? Like, God, it's like a 12 year old's room. But a 600 pound woman's on the bed with two industrial sized fans pointing at her. It's fucking weird, dude. It's so weird. If I look like I've been crying, it's because I have. I don't really want to get into it. Then cut it. I can't. But dude. I Got Here come the tears. Today. So let's not talk about that. Take my mind off of it with some dumplings. So <laughs> instantly into her coping mechanism. This is right now, so if you this that. is bad. All right. She's go. like she's like <laughs> I can't. She's like double dipping on her like coping mechanism now. Like she's got her food. She's on here complaining to YouTube. Like she's. This is the only time. Honestly. I, I bet she doesn't even feel joy when she eats now. I bet she, I, th I bet she just does it to feel nothing. Take a bite. Mm. Like you don't know what those ta don't taste like. Like you haven't had them 15,000 times look. since you've moved into that house. Are we going to really I sit like here and act surprised? From, like, Chinese restaurants. They aren't always the best. But... Like you wow. would know what a real dumpling tastes like. Mm. Well, you're a McDonald's palate. I also got... Of course, there's more. Something else. This is sad, yo. Which She's literally one? in her bed. So Becky is just bringing her food to her bed now? Are we bed bound? Like, is this what it is now? Because I've seen her Snapchats where, De where uh, Destiny and Dana are there, and, they're, and they seem like they're all in her room now. They're all in a bed. This is crazy. One of my most favorite This is things. like my 600-pound life, only no I'm one's going to like rice. live at the end of this episode. <laughs> Not complaining. I usually eat this in two separate meals. Yeah, so right. Girl, bye. This, I'll eat it in two separate meals. Sure, sure you will. We really believe you. I'll show you guys like a close-up. But, did this not come with a fork? No, oh, Becky's not. gonna be pissed. So, I wanted to show you guys up <laughs> Becky, close run! What it looks like. So, when I get this, I actually do not hand. eat the pork or the chicken out of it. Because Look that's at her. I, where's her wrist? My a little opinion here is that I don't like it too much. But I do okay. Eat the so, I take out all the chicken. Sure. And, like, these little beef situations it's pork or pork 
their pork. I don't know why I'm saying beef. I'm so annoying. Usually I would ask for, you know, just shrimp or maybe just a vegetable one. But they actually do not have that option, which is really shocking because I tried. Oh, you couldn't call and be like, hey, can you not put chicken and pork in my Singapore rice noodles? And they're like, sure. Like, the fuck? Skin one time, but that's okay. You could literally tell them to just, hey, don't put chicken and pork in my food. And they'd be like, okay, cool. We'll save a lot of money now. Um, I'm going to be honest. But you don't need really it. I don't know what's in You don't need it, though. Obvious. Like, I don't know the seasonings. It kind of tastes a little curry, but yeah. there is oh, egg. God, there is some spices for sure because there's a little bit of spice, a little bit of kick. Obviously, onion. There's some right. like, seasoning. carrot slices. It's so freaking good. And obviously, the three She meats, can't. She's shrimp, literally pork, she's watering at the mouth. So. She can't even finish Twinkies talking. Like, can I have some? No, baby. Twinkie's love. like, can you cut my nails? That looks like. Okay, so we got a fork. So, <laughs> AKA, I yelled at Becky and she got me a fork. I haven't. <laughs> you know, Amber didn't get up. I'm just going to eat around it. You guys, this is honestly so good. And it's like, I handle spice really well. So. <laughs> Joy. I didn't even notice Thank God. Like spicy, I don't know if we could have gone on living this, if knowing if if Amberlynn could eat hot and, and spicy things. Like it because it's kind of spicy, and I was like, "Is it though?" And now, like, oh yeah, I guess it kind of is. See, I don't even see Joy. I don't even think she's happy. I think this is just. Mm. Nikocado avocado did a um. <sighs> yeah, he's trash too. Eating like Amberlynn Reed video, and he texted me. And wanted to know, like, the unhealthy foods that I like. So I listed off a bunch of stuff for him. And this was one of the things. And he was, like, super excited for it. And I was like, I just get it at the Chinese restaurant. And so he was like, oh, yeah, blah, blah. He couldn't get it, though. And I was, like, really sad because I was like, this is, like, one of my favorite things. We've literally never seen you eat food on here. And you've eaten so much food on here. Mm. A little shrimpy. Like this is this is this to Amberlynn um, might be like the ultimate this. coping mechanism, eating on camera and complaining to YouTube. I watched the new American Horror Story episode. I loved it. It was so freaking good. I'm having a Sprite Zero, which they now call Sprite Zero Sugar. <laughs> um, the fact that you're eating this amazing. from your bed is crazy. So good. To me. Becky hasn't yet seen it, so like we've we're fucking right gone, dude. Yeah, so that's what we're doing. This is I'm so sad. Honest, this is the only video I wanted to film today. Only because, <laughs> like, I... This is, like, the only video you filmed for the past, like, three weeks is you eating on camera. I just feel so, like, defeated and distraught and, like, emotionally exhausted. And I have gotten so many messages on Instagram and Snapchat just saying, we miss your content, we miss your videos, when are you going to upload again? And so I just... I'm making this video for this is so who fucked up want to see me this is a bad angle so i do apologize but anyways. does she just do duck lips so i just i'm making this video for the people who wow so she's sitting on here talking about how she defeated she is how depressed she is she's eating on camera and Snaps out of it at the slight, slightest look of herself and immediately goes into posing, duck lips. Dude, she's a narcissist. I can't, dude. She's crazy. Want to see me? This is a bad She's angle, so I do nuts. Apologize, but, anyways, so this is my next meal, but I do want to say there's I more meals. Not finish Girl, Singapore right This whole qualify she qualifies a lot of her statements in this video like I only eat these tw I only I tw I split this into two meals. I don't eat all of this. Girl, you're eating all of this. We're you're eating all of this. No one believes you. Not a single soul believes you because if you weren't you wouldn't be in your bed eating all day. All every single meal has been from her bed. Every single meal today is it, that's on her fucking Tupperware thing that she uses to store her journals. Like every single thing has been in her room. So Becky is just bringing her food now to the room. Snoodle. I ate so about crazy. half of it. I did finish the dumplings. I'm sorry, my though. leg keeps falling really, asleep. really good. And later on that night, I decided to have something sweet. So these are white grapes, or at least that's what they're called. 
And these are the ones that taste like cotton candy. If you guys have ever heard of those, you know what I'm saying. These are so freaking- Why one would need grapes that taste like cotton candy is fucking crazy to me, considering grapes are like so sweet. Freaking good, <sighs> and if you haven't heard of them, you need them. No, you don't. So you I don't. put them in the freezer. Anything this woman tells so you you need, you don't need. Grapes. And when you freeze these grapes, literally taste like candy. Literally tastes like candy. It is so oh freaking good. Oh my god, dude. And I got some Cheerios. This is Cheerio and Oat cereal. It is so good. I love it a lot. And we have some milk. I did add too much milk. That was a slip up. That was an accident. But um, I did finish all the milk. I did finish all the cereal. And <laughs> She's like, I finished it all. I can't. She was just talking about how, like, she, I can't, dude. She's just talking about she doesn't eat that much. And then, like, she just said, oh, I finished off the cereal. I finished off the milk. And I had a few grapes left over. So this was actually my last meal of the day. Like I said, <laughs> in my opinion and how I normally eat, this was not a lot of food. She's nuts. She's absolutely nuts. I'm sure the, that, that, that container of Singapore rice noodles alone was probably, like, 1,200 calories. Easy. I mean, it's just fucking noodles and beef and, and fat and chicken. And then the rice. <laughs> and then the fucking pot stickers. And now the cereal. Like, how do you expect to, like, ever succeed in weight loss? I don't get it. Not a lot of food at all. Hey, guys. Oh, here so we go. Our fave. And I figured I'll do another comment of the day. I do like doing these. So we have almost 3,000 comments. I don't know why you would do this. So I'm going to let it load. Oh, and I think what I'm going to start saying is the video title. Of it literally that says it right from, there. Which it's always the last video that I uploaded. Duh. This one is called Being Friends with My Ex. So God, we can read. Winner. Thank you. So this is actually a reply to someone so I don't think I want to read those because it's not like directed towards me and that's Let's read that question though. Selena Smith, for fuck's sake, how sad and pathetic do you have to be to reply to every comment? We get it. You live up Big Al's fupa. <laughs> she should have read this. She should have read this one. This was a good one. But this is a public platform she uploads. She leaves the comments on. It's how she makes money. She's literally can't do anything else. True facts. So VR is speaking facts. People can and will comment their opinions on the trash content. If that offends you, go bury yourself under her shelf ass and cry. I wish she had read that one. That's a good one. Um, have you considered losing some weight? That is a silly question. Is so it I guess though? The question really isn't silly to someone who might be new to my channel or so to anyone that's watched channel, you for hello. more than a month. My name is Amber Lynn. My highest weight, five seventy two point four. So nonchalant Just about it. Horrid. Um, at sixteen years old, I was four hundred and twenty pounds. That's crazy. At one point in my life, when I was about twenty one, twenty two, I got down to three thirty one. I thought I was living the life. Then I went through <laughs> That's a little bit. I mean, if that doesn't say everything you need to know right there about being 331 pounds at 20 years old and thinking you're living the life as a five foot three woman, that's fucking sad. The traumatizing changes. Like I found out I had gallstones. I thought it was like the end of the world. Then me and my girlfriend found out I had gallstones, continued to eat all the fried food that I want and realized it was the water. Like uh, that was traumatizing to her. <laughs> And then I got with another girl and I was like free on my own. Long story short, I had another heartbreak. I got super depressed. And this is I why people talk about the destiny stuff so much is because she's still torn up about that breakup. Like she's still torn up on about it. Reached 572.4. That's why she's so hyped that destiny and Dana are back around. Yes. Because that means she's got a shot. Night. That's something that is on my mind 24 seven. She's considered it. Did you notice how she, no, the phrasing she's considered losing weight, not tried, not actively done something about it. She's considered it. She's pondered it. She's thought about it a little bit. That's at 600 pounds. You're thinking about losing weight. You're not trying to save your life. Seven. It's this is I your brain on with, fat. And I've actually been trying really hard to take away my binge eating. 
It's How? Strong... By doing nothing? You do nothing. You actively do nothing to change your life and your circumstances. Not a single thing has changed. Other than the fact that you take a pill every day. That's the only thing you do. You don't go to any kind of therapy. You don't go to any kind of support group. You don't even read any literature about the pro about the topic. You just hope one day that like it's gonna like affect you through osmosis of some kind, and that's not how it's gonna work. You have to actually try to save your life. Struggle for people who binge eat. I know you understand. It is rough. I also have a food addiction. Most people who binge eat don't film it on camera handle, for money. Especially mix when you have a binge eating disorder or even if you don't have a disorder, just the fact that you binge, cause I do binge, but I haven't. <laughs> Ashley just binged, like I can't, it's so, this, she is such a bad example out there for people who might be in a similar situation that she is, she is in, like it's so bad. This is part of the reason why like, I'm, I like make these videos or whatever, because it's like, she is a very awful example for people out there to follow, just plain and simple. Then, and it's been, to say about a week now um i am going through a lot at the moment and i'm trying you're to always do, like, dude literally your entire youtube like career is when you complaining about your circumstances yesterday i did not film it and i actually lost, of course you didn't like, film it i think it was a good eight pounds six to eight pounds since i last right I'm sure I, the girl who like thinks I can't dude. This, this, she's so full of shit, dude. First of all, you know, she would have filmed it if she lost eight pounds because she would have came on here and she would have reweighed herself if she wasn't filming it and come on here and been like, look, guys, I lost eight pounds. Like, this is bullshit. Wait in for you guys. So I was very happy to see that. I'm very proud. Taking away <laughs> Take a liar's word for it. Binging. Really freaking Taking away the junk as she just ate fried pot stickers and fucking uh, a thing of Singapore rice noodles and candy grapes and fucking, like, I can't. This is crazy. Helps. She Anyways, doesn't see it. it in her mind, this doesn't video, exist. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Well, I can't say I'm not that surprised at that, but like, I, it was very shock. I, I feel like her. I feel like that was a prime example of how you can like see how her, you could see her coping mechanisms in action. Like you could see the fact that like she has to come on here and talk to YouTube and her audience to feel some kind of validation or to complain or get some kind of pity or sympathy from her viewers because she doesn't get any of it really in her real life because she has no kind of really she doesn't really have adult relationships with people she doesn't she's not exposed to the world there's nothing really going on in her life and then we get to double up on that by eating on camera too while talking about how depressed you are like if that's not that's sad i mean and i don't think that I don't think that you can fix this. I honestly, I don't know. So I'm, I, I strongly, actually, you know what? I'll say it. I strongly think she's beyond help. <laughs> I do. I think, I think she's beyond help at this point. I think this is just what her life is, and this is what she's gonna do as long as she can do it. Do it. And she's gonna ride this until the wheels fall off. And that may be fucked up for me to say, dude. But like, if she's not reaching out for help at this point, I don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon, unless it's forced upon her. Like she has a heart attack and she's forced to go to the hospital and she's forced to not eat the foods. But I guarantee you, Becky is the type of bitch that would bring food into the hospital. She is that type of person. So I mean, she's bringing food into her six hundred pound girlfriend to her 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 bedroom to eat. You know, Amber's not getting up out of that bed. You know, she's not. And when you look at the Snapchats, she's not leaving the bed really either. It looks like they're all hanging out in their room. And what are the bad things that happen? Who knows? I don't know why you would like would not want people to speculate about the stuff in your life, but then you come on here and you like you give really vague answers <laughs> or you give vague explanations for what's going on. Whatever, dude. This is what it is. I don't know what the I don't know. Um, I have a couple videos coming out this coming week. I have one people wanted me to do uh, talking about like my skincare routine, so I'm gonna talk about that. And um, I do have a video that I've been like planning out about fat positivity that I want to do really bad. I've been wanting to do it for some time now, and I'm gonna finally get around to doing it. So I'm gonna fucking bite the bullet. And if I piss a lot of people off with my opinions, and so fucking be it, I don't really care. Um, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Remember to check out irate Alex and Biggest Mikey. And until next time, toodles.